ang kinakaharap ng mundo ngayon, lalo na ang COVID pandemic. Pero ang mga miyembro ng Iglesia ng Kristo patuloy sa pagsasagawa ng mga pagsamba o worship services at ina-adapt ang new normal gamit ang makabagong teknolohiya at pagsunod sa mga umiiral na panuntunan ng gobyerno. Tuloy-tuloy rin ang ginagawang paglingap ng INC sa mga nangangailangan. Si Bin Pasqua sa detalye. Nakaharap ang buong mundo sa iba't ibang suliranin at problema, katulad na lamang ng paglaganap ng kahirapan, terorismo, krisis sa ekonomiya, at ngayon ang pagkalat ng mga sakit tulad ng coronavirus disease o COVID-19. Sa gitna ng lahat ng ito, hindi tayo dapat na manghina at mabahala. Ito ang patuloy na itinataguyod ng Iglesia ni Cristo sa pangunguna ng tagapamahalang pangkalahatan ang kapatid na Eduardo V. Manalo. Ayon kay INC spokesman Brother Edwin Zabala, sa kabila ng mga problema ay nanghahawak ang mga kaanib sa Iglesia ni Cristo sa magagawa ng Panginoong Diyos. Prior to the first uh, community quarantines or community lockdowns were pronounced by Uh, respective government health agencies, not just here in the Philippines, but uh, outside Abroad. the mm -hmm. Philippines. Um, the church administration already uh, called on the members of the church to be more prayerful. Mm -hmm. uh, household worship services were already being held. Uh, in fact, uh, ministers were sent out to officiate worship services in the different respective households of members. Mm -hmm. So it, it was nothing new to the members of the church to when this took place. Itinuro rin sa mga kaanib sa Iglesia ni Cristo na maghanap ng mga paraan para matugunan ang kanilang pangangailangan tulad ng pagkain, kabuhayan, at iba pa. Members of the Church of Christ uh, have always been uh, taught by the church administration not just to be hardworking in terms of going out to work for someone, but also when it comes to finding ways, ways. to... Uh, Uh, Support provide for your yeah. needs from your own uh, uh, livelihood activities. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's true not just here in the Philippines, but also outside. Oh, right. now, mm -hmm. now you also have our many other uh, livelihood activities. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, so that has always been a thrust of the church administration. So, Bilang pagmamahal sa kapwa, isa rin sa proyekto na patuloy na isinasagawa ay ang lingap sa mamamayan o aid to humanity. Sa makatwid, kung ganoon tayo nakadama ng pag-ibig mm -hmm. sa mga kapatid natin, lalo na sa namamahala sa Iglesia ni Kristo, mm -hmm. eh, hindi katakataka na hanapin sa atin na magpadama rin sa kapwa natin mm -hmm. ng uh, pag-ibig at ng paglingap. Mm -hmm. At sa panahong ito, hindi lamang naman sa material mm -hmm. uh, nagsisikap tumulong ang mga kaanib sa Iglesia ni Kristo. Totoo na lumilingap tayo halos araw-araw, sabi nga ninyo. Pero higit pa riyan, yung kailangan ng mga kaanib sa Iglesia ni Kristo na tinatanggap natin, yun din ay inililingap natin sa kapwa natin, biyayang espiritual. Sa gitna ng mga umiiral na patakaran ng gobyerno, lalo na sa pagsasagawa ng mass gatherings bilang pag-iingat kontra COVID-19, kaagad namang tumugon dito ang Iglesia ni Kristo. In places where the levels of community quarantine or lockdowns or whatever they label it, Mm -hmm. um, have been uh, uh, loosened, so mm -hmm. to speak. So it's, it's more uh, relaxed, relaxed mm -hmm. right now. Um, if they allow, let's say, 10% of the capacity of the place of worship, mm -hmm. uh, that's what we are doing. Uh, mm -hmm. Members of the church, uh, uh, since everything has been organized beforehand, mm -hmm. and uh, the church administration continues to uh, look after the needs of the members, we're able to communicate the what members of the church have to do in order to continue with the worship services no matter what the condition may be may paanyaya ang iglesia ni Cristo sa mga mamamayan kasabay ng pagdiriwang ng ika-100 at anim na taong anibersaryo let us never lose hope that he knows what he is doing he has good plans for all of us plans that lead to the salvation of his servants plans that will result in blessings to those who are obedient to his commandments.
So as um, this 106th anniversary of the Iglesia Ni Cristo, the theme of the anniversary of the Iglesia Ni Cristo this year is, there is hope. Let us place our hope in the blessings that the Lord God has in store for His servants. Para sa Eagle News, Ven Pascua, we live in interesting times.